There's a calendar. It's 89? This must be 30 years ago. This is Wordsworth from 30 years ago. What are you showing me? There's Headmistress Midra next to the calendar. She hasn't aged a day. Is there something more to that? The scene changed. Looks like some kind of meeting. Important government workers and wealthy people who are touring the dorm, seeking to adopt a child. There's the headmistress. She really does look the same, minus a few wrinkles. This is strange. It's like I'm watching someone else's dream. This looks like the carnival. Must be from 30 years ago, too. Another scene change. Wait, where is this? In the dorm somewhere? I've never seen this room before. It looks like something out of a medieval castle. A ton of girls just entered the room. Why are their faces so pale? I can't quite make out their features. But I recognize those uniforms. They're from Wordsworth. They're dancing without a care in the world. I gaze around at the patterned walls and religious statues, and I feel something in the air. There's the headmistress. She's smiling. The girls are starting to circle her. One by one, the girls laid down in a circle around a desk, upon which sat a mountain of candles. This must be a carnival event, I thought, with the pies, cakes, and decorations. It looked like a birthday party. The girls laid down excitedly, their eyes gleaming as they waited for the event to begin. Then, their faces became clear. I saw my classmates, even Abigail was there, Sarah too. Anne, Marie, and Victoria as well. What? Why? I thought this was 30 years ago. Why are they here? The headmistress walking over from the other end of the room sat beside the circle, grinning to herself. Soon, blood coated every surface surrounding the circle, including the headmistress's body. And that blood that kept them alive for so long? I was stupefied. What was happening? Why weren't they running away? It is a ritual for this. The headmistress walked to the corner of the room, grabbing a shotgun that leaned against the wall. She put her back to the wall, sliding until her bottom hit the floor. She aimed the barrel at her mouth and pulled the trigger. <gasps> Someone entered the gruesome scene. She wobbled closer to the headmistress's corpse, devastated as she knelt. It was Roddy. <gasps> Roddy, it can't be. If this is someone's memory from 30 years ago, then everyone at Wordsworth has been dead for 30 years, including the headmistress. What's going on? That's ridiculous. I just saw them. I talked to them this morning. Where are they? <gasps> when I came to... I was standing in the town square of, of the Cora with no lights on and no signs of any people looking like nothing else but, but ruins. I was alone. Impossible! Not going crazy! Roddy, where are you? Liliana! There was a residential area where we fought, where, where we fought Midra. The buildings were desolate. There was no light, no sign of life. As the wind howled, I found myself alone in, in a dead town. No one alive but me. If you see, she's she, she's actually striking. I saw everyone. Roddy, Liliana, anyone, Bishop. <laughs> I understand all this. The last time I saw it, it's my bag made it made a noise. I slowly open it. Arata, you gonna say something now? 
final control began and a small video window was open on the monitor. The video was being played, but what was this? If you're listening, my name is Arata Mizunashi. If you're searching for what it all means, go to the church. I beg of you. I need to save. I need to save. Arata Mizunashi, the name of the man that she and I had. I ha had continually chased after the legendary programmer who had come to the town to disappear. The man who owned this laptop. Get there first. Yo, can we degrade the world? Make a uh, fix all this. <laughs> Checking the laptop, I couldn't use the avatars anymore either. It was as if it, it were being jammed. Ours didn't work either. She had no personality. She was reduced to, to voice software. In this moment, I was alone. After eight's done, I walked alone in this abandoned town of death under the heavy, thick, gray clouds that enveloped the night sky. I, I reached the front of the church, imposing, uh, imposing even when deserted, the stained glass reaching up even to the third floor. What did he mean by what it all means? I believe in those profound words. The, the, the last video quickly ended, and I could no longer re 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 replay it. I opened the heavy doors and stepped inside. There was no one inside of the dark chapel. I walked further inside by relying on on, on a slight on a slight moonlight shining shining shine through the windows. And walked up the steps as, and spanned the whole floor. Opening the door at the end, I reached the auditorium on, on the third floor. The room was covered in the stained glass that was visible from outside. In the middle of this, there was a human shape. I sprinted to her in panic, but the bishop stood beside someone in floating black robe. A robed person beside her. Who is that? I could only finally see the silhouettes in the dark room from, from, from the moonlight, but the upper bodies were in shadow and hard to see. Bishop, you made it out. This town, everyone is dead. The bishop, much like a mannequin, wasn't moving. As it became suspicious, the black clothed person next to the bishop began clapping their hands together. It's as you say. This abandoned town is a ruin where the souls of the dead wander. <gasps> rather than r rather than from the clapping black clothed person, the voice was coming from the unmoving bishop. One destined to repeat an endless cycle. All you've seen. All you've spoken to. All dead, including the headmistress. <gasps> I admit it was comical, watching you go to bed, wake up, and mutter to yourself in an abandoned room. No one there to listen. Wow. What about Roddy? Emiliana? <laughs> They've been dead for a long time. You're lying! It can't be! You've been here alone this whole time. From the beginning. All alone. None of your friends were real. <laughs> You're lying! Black clothed person roughly removed the uh, the face cloth that was attached to, to the bishop's hat. What was, what was revealed was the mummified face of a woman. <laughs> the bishop is dead too. Tears fell down my cheeks involuntarily. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> I always knew you were clever. What do you know? Who are you? The black clothes press removed our hood. My, you're so strong. You did what you had to. You're allowed to be happy. Thank you. Today, I would like to introduce three of our new friends. It's been a while, Mike. She was there. Where have you been? 
It's you! I take it things are well, my... It was the social worker who brought me here, Julieta. Her eyes widened as she bared her teeth with a... with an erratic grin. <laughs> what a fantastic scream! I hope it hurts! Can you feel despair creeping in? <laughs> Your peers, Shina Ninomiya and Kaeda Hizumi, are both dead. Despair! A fitting final sacrifice. Flashing a mad grin, Julieta came closer. Yo, back up. Sudden backwards, I was cornered into the wall with a large stained glass window. Final sacrifice. From the far back of the auditorium behind Julieta, the black club group appeared in droves. The image of Sheena being killed flowed into my mind. Unable to back up any further, my back finally lay flat up against the window. I couldn't escape. I was going to be killed. I finally came to realize this. I don't care anymore. In a moment, I had given up. My Toyama, survive. Yeah, you gotta survive for Arata's sake. Come on. As my eyes opened up, I leapt backwards. Crashed through, stain, uh, crashed through stained glass with my back and jumped into the darkness. I shut my eyes and allowed myself to fall. I'm now. Uh, don't let her escape! As I came to, I found myself in a, in a dim shed, surrounded by wooden walls. Ah, the shed that was mentioned the first time we were here. Did I pass out? The ceiling was broken, and the dark sky could be seen, unless I followed in through here. The edges of the small shed were, were, were blanketed with straw. I was safe. I was safe thanks, thanks to accidentally, accidentally landing there. The last I was clutching was miraculously intact as well. This I had a hunch, the forbidden, the forbidden shed that, that Roddy had talked about. I was in a shed with no entrance next to the, ne next to the church. Looking around closely in the room, a mark comprised of circles and triangles was painted onto the floor. Characters that I couldn't read were written along, along the side of the, of the circle. Around the strange demonic circle, unevenly large candles were set up, and a few of them were lit. If this shed can't be entered from the outside, who lit these candles? Within the burnt smelling room, I found an even stranger thing. What is this? On a wall, a mysterious mark was once again written in paint on it. I had no idea what it meant, but it was decidedly unpleasant. Okay. How the hell do I get out? There's no exit. Here I might be found. Sis! 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 <sighs> that voice! I knew it instinctively. Just then, even though it was years since I had heard it, it was the voice of my sister, Sanai. <sighs> I strained my ears in order to hear it, uh, to hear it once more. Almost as if calling to me, a door in, in the floor opened, o opened it on its own. And I can see the stairs leading, leading to a basement. Sanae, are you down there? As of being led, I, I, I started down the, down the steps to, to the basement. I slowly fumbled my way step by step down the dark stairs. It felt as if it it felt as if it was leading to the depths of uh, yeah, the, the depths of hell. A, and a spine chilling shiver enveloped me. Before you descend into the room below, I need to tell you something. What's up, Rada? <sighs> from the laptop I still had on, despite despite blood in the lid, I could hear another message from Rada Mizunashi. Previously, he did call out to me with, with, with good timing, and I was saved because of it. Hey, how do you know 
know what I'm doing. He did something. I think I know. And just so you're not confused, this is a pre-recorded video message. <laughs> I'm speaking along to your predicted movements. Sorry if I lag at all. The rod of me is nauseating. Just how much of the future have, have, have you predicted? Scary. No doubt you're still skeptical. But the world we live in is comprised of coders. I was a programmer. Makes me one of the only people around who can alter the code. Long story short, it's kind of like magic. It enables me to rewrite the world, so to speak. With this laptop, you too can have this power. With some limitations. Comprised of code? Does that mean this world isn't real? I'm sure by now you're asking yourself if that means this world isn't real. But that's not true. We were born into this world. We all exist here. To us, this is as good as reality gets. Even outside of our world, it's all different names for the same thing. Electromagnetic waves, mana, coding, etc. There's no difference between us and anyone else, Mai. My skin was warm when I touched it. The place I, I injured was dropping with pain, and I was licking blood, and, and, and the clear liquid. It was true. It was. It was true that right, uh, right here, right now, I was living. Hey, wait a second. I meant to ask you this earlier, but how do you know my name? You're probably wondering how I know your name, but I'm willing to bet you're short on time. I'll make my point. The room ahead is not of this world. If your will is weak, they'll take you. Prepare yourself. Don't lose it. Time to save the game once again. I don't know what's going on. Well, I mean, the novel, you know, I have tons of insight <laughs> on, on, on things. And, and, I, and I, you know, piecing it all together. But, yeah, just in case, you know, gameplay-wise, I had to save. The follow-up video is scheduled to play soon, so I'll brief you then. Later. After, after saying only that, the video uh, the, the video replay ended. What? What the hell? Iris, what's the schedule? When does the next video play? How many minutes from now? Information restricted. <sighs> what the hell, Arata Mizunashi? So melodramatic. <laughs> you can't be. <laughs> In that moment below me, a red door appeared from nowhere. At the same time, I heard I heard an unlocking sound, and the red door opened its mouth. Guess I don't have a choice. How many minutes had? Yeah. How many minutes had had elapsed since I continued to walk down the steps after passing through the ghastly red door? In this place, with no candles or anything on the walls, I could only re I could only rely on the light from my smartphone for my uh, for, for, for my footing. Even when I turned the light to my surroundings, no nothing reflected back in this narrow staircase. Whoa. Eventually, my feet landed on the bottom floor. Having expected another step, I I lost my balance and, and landed on, on on my hands. The light of my smartphone on the floor illuminated within the darkness. The shoot of someone standing in front of me. Who's there? I raised my I raised my my uh, my smartphone's light to eye level, and there was the face of a of a townsperson I had seen before, standing there without any movement, like a mannequin, looking closely on, on his side, and 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 their sides, and even behind him. In this dark room, the residents of this town were standing lined up, with no expressions. Died, didn't they? Why are they all lined up here? Even when I touched them hesitantly, there was no response. They had no body heat. It felt uncomfortable, like time was stopped just here. Everyone was motionless, as if their bodies were fixed in in, in, in the space. Is this place? 
I swallowed my fear and hid it further inside between the line line of people. In the very back of the room, there was a small oh wait, there, there was a wall that looked like a wooden cottage. There was a hidden Mistress Mija and Roddy. Like the other people, Roddy's eyes were open, but she was expressionless. She looked like a she looked like like, like a pretty doll. It's the strain area. A place that houses the memories of this town's master. Here, all of the townspeople are enshrined. Lata once again began to play a, a video on his own, and I heard Arata Mizunashi's voice. And, 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 and instinctively, my brain ended up understanding that these words were true. Enshrined corpses. Yes, yes, they were dead. This girl was dead from 30 years ago. <laughs> Tears started falling. God damn it, hold me. The sobs that were welling up from deep within my heart, I forcefully swallowed, and then glared at the headmistress nearby. She was a mannequin like, as expected, but it was her but, but it was her her figure from from before turning into a shadow matter. I hes I, I hesitantly tried touching her body. <laughs> It was a hemisphere's room. The calendar w was year a nine eighty, September first. Yo, it's September third. <laughs> Close enough. It was eight years before the hemisphere's carnival suicide incident. As the hemisphere's Mija wor worked within her room, the head made Shizu flew in. <laughs> Town. She tried to save her friend Maria. No, take me there at once. The ashen faced headmistress dashed out in the town within a crowd. A single old car was stopped, and on the ground, her darling, her, her darling daughter Roddy was collapsed face first, covered in blood. A few hours later, we did everything we could. Her organs are too damaged. I'm sorry. She likely won't make it through the night. Roddy! Ah, ah. The hemis just fell, uh, fell prostrate on, on, on the desk. God. Why? Why have you punished your child like this? The hemis the was was grieving, but then the doctor sat down next to her and whispered into her ear. Saving her with normal means would be impossible, Miss Dahlhart. But to save your daughter, why don't you meet with our sister? What? Is this how it all started? The black car was stopped in front of the church. From out of it came a woman clad in black. It was Julieta. Julieta approached her reverently, uh, squeezed the head of the, the, the image's hand, then spoke as if bestowing some, some important words. That night, Maria was walking alone down the hallway of, of the Wordsworth dorm. Sensing her presence and turning around, there was the image, clothed in black, in her hand w was a, was a three-pronged halberd. <laughs> The scene changed, a room that looked like a queen's bedroom. Maria's body and the dying Roddy were laid next to each other. As the grand sister, Julietta turned turned around from the altar which was uh which she was which she was praying at. Roddy suddenly exhaled and began breathing. <laughs> the hemisphere held her daughter and cried. Juli Ju Julietta then whispered into her ear. You must offer 666 deaths. They must be children, otherwise Roddy's soul will leave her, and she will die. So yeah, that's what that's what that meant. I can't, I 
can't do this anymore! Consider them offerings to God. A noble sacrifice. Relinquish your hesitation. Yo, does she really go around the whole dorm? Killing all the orphans inside. The images, her tears refusing to stop, continue to be bathed in blood, and her mind slowly started to break. So basically, what we saw when we came back to the dorm was, a, was like a recreation of this. Mistress continued to prepare offerings for her daughter's sake. The faithful day, year A, 989, February 16th, had arrived. It's Carnival! You're the best mom in the world! I love you! She left the room, the innocent daughter who knew nothing. <laughs> Broken Hamish just gave a twist of scream and began tearing at her head. No! Ronnie dashed out. From behind the Hamish's corpse, the black clothed people appeared. Julieta, standing in the middle, laughed, laughed with wide open eyes. <laughs> this year was especially fruitful. A bounty of 22 lives. She has talent. I've placed a curse on this town. Soon, poisonous gas will leak from a nearby town, rendering it uninhabitable. And of course, I will trap the souls of its citizens here forever. <laughs> Thus, they are doomed to repeat the cycle, surrendering 22 souls every year until soon we reach 666. I was thinking that. Oh, wow. Elstrain Marbus. Elstrain Marbus. Reveal yourself to us. Oh. The corpse of rotting in front of me has only begun to stream to stream tears. What was that? One of the headmistress's memories? The headmistress The headmistress still stood there with her eyes open, and the bodies of the other residents still had not moved a bit. The Wordsworth Massacre incident from thirty years ago became worldwide news. Or it spread far. Yeah, that's how right I heard about this in the novel. Wait, so, wait, this is, uh, you guys, to go read the novel, hopefully, maybe it's on a website or something, but like, I think Julieta hated Arata, I think I know why, because the novel, she kept sending, uh, the cult members after him, killing everyone around him, and making Arata suffer, and every time he died, he rewrote, I mean, the world de uh, degraded. He got the information about them talking about, you know, Elstrain and all that, and where it originated from, which is why he went here. And so he got the information, and like, you know, just dangers there. They, they were monitoring him. He's died there multiple times, too. And so, yeah. Oh, no wonder he couldn't see our face. Yeah, like, you know, like, like he couldn't see her face the entire time. 
So I had... You know what? I suspected. <laughs> uh. And so, with that... Yeah, he, he found out about the, the, uh, the worst of Massacre. He explored it, and the town was doing fine. And, you know, it was weird. And after, you know, dying numerous times, he pieced things together and found out what they were truly after. So, like, during his last encounter, like, every time he died, the world, uh, you know, he made it so that every time he died, the world would reset. But at this, well, like, his last encounter, he actually removed that and let himself die. Hence why the laptop was found. Go read the novel to understand every, everything I just said. <laughs> I said, let's, let's make a video. Let's read the novel. <laughs> the one and only survivor, Roddy, was deemed missing. She was missing? Afterwards, the poisonous gas leak from a coal mine in the area caused the town to be shut down. Ever since, people started calling Lashawara cursed. No one lived there anymore. Now, it's a ghost town. I can't believe how much you know. You foresaw everything before it happened. What are you, Adita Mizunashi? A programmer. I turned around and gazed at the and gazed at this mysterious room. Bet you're asking who I am. I came to investigate this town and was killed. He's explaining it. Well, technically, I'm going to be killed. By the time you see this, I'll be dead. I'm stuck in a time loop myself, and I've seen a future in which you fail to. Fail? This is nonsense! There's no way you can see the future! Wait, more importantly, just now, Ronnie Mizunashi, Ronnie Mizunashi, did he say, after the incident 30 years ago, Ronnie went missing? Were you? Just shown headmistress Midra's memories. It's as you suspect. Roddy didn't die during the massacre. Where is Roddy? She violently glitched, which froze her at this age. Seems like Julietta's curse reset her memories. So she's been living the same year on repeat. Oh, dang. Then. <laughs> Oh, that was a real Roddy. <laughs> In front of my eyes, quite, quite suddenly, she had returned to the girl from, from, from this morning who, who lived and moved. She was moving and sobbing. She might be from 30 years ago. She's alive, conscious, just like you. I was so scared! <laughs> if I was saying a word, I hugged Roddy. Bye. You idiot. Holding Roddy's warm body, my voice shamefully wavered. Roddy's face turned red, and she buried it, and she buried it into my chest. We don't get a we don't, we, we don't get a hug portrait. You two are inseparable. <laughs> Turning around towards the voice behind us, Liliana was standing there. Liliana, where have you been? I think I passed out. When I woke up, I found myself here. God sent me a message. He told me to hide here for a while. I awoke terrified and shaking, so I think I ended up fainting again at some point. <laughs> Liliana! Ryan and I, Ryan and I ran up, ran up to her and hugged her. Let myself just a little. Where's the group hug portrait? Ronnie Mizunashi said nothing about Liliana at the, at the time. At the time he recorded, wait, Ronnie Mizunashi said nothing about about Liliana. 
At the time he recorded this, this forcing video, it seems like he didn't have her information. Wait. I think I, 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 I think I might. Or maybe not, I don't know. <laughs> Which meant this girl was brought from the modern age into this current time flow, ju just as I was. That cut woman, Ju Julieta, had brought her here to Wordsworth, like she had done with me. Good girl. You tried your hardest. Yep, you, yep, you, you, you did your best. Head past her days. Now, not, now that now that I recall, Liliana knew about machines of the current age, like smartphones and computers, unlike Roddy, which makes sense. I understand now. It's all because of her. <gasps> Most likely, I'm running out of time. If my calculations are right, the loop is on its 30th cycle. You're close. My, I have a favor. Since you're a hacker, I want you to inherit my power. What do you mean? Due to the absurdity of, of everything so far, I ended up forgetting it was a video. Julieta cursed this town. She too is a programmer. And this laptop, you're the only one who can stop her. The curse created a yearly cycle that culminates the massacre from 30 years ago. It loops endlessly, taking victims. They've taken 665 lives. There's only one. When the 666th life is claimed, they will summon a so called king to consume this world. By my calculations, you're almost out of time. You have to stop it. No matter what. King? What do you mean? Is it a cult? When I refer to King, I mean a strain. Marcus. They refer to it as their god, but it's a demon. <gasps> They're a sinister group of demon worshippers. He said something incredible, but rather, ra rather casually. But the reality in front of me ha ha had already deviate, de deviated from, from, from the ordinary. Moreover, the moment I, I had come to this town, I myself had felt the presence of some disturbing thing through my whole skin. I didn't believe it at first either, but it's no simple bug. It's bigger than any kind of coding irregularity. It's something worse. An aberrant calamity. One that was impervious to my hacks. It's what these people call a demon. Hence, why I came to investigate. Damn. Now I've heard it all. What am I supposed to do? I'll show you the way. Head through the door to Wordsworth's basement. The altar used by Mitra to slaughter the girls is in there. From there, the ritual to summon their god has already started. You must stop the cult. Please. You got it. Do we have what it takes to stop it? You might feel apprehensive, but I've got one more cheat code for you. Something of a good luck charm. The world's key. It's an emergency measure. Just in case you can't beat them. It can only be used once. With it, the world's yours. That sounds inviting. Boom. The church, no, the whole town shook. At the same time, the corpse of the town people all, all opened their eyes and at, at once and laughed. That room is not in your present world. No doubt it's becoming unstable. My, hurry up and get down there before it swallows you up. Hey, what 
What's the world's key do? No explanation? Shit! Taking Ryan and Leon with me, I ran towards the wall at the okay. end. I'll tell you the most important thing. My, at Julieta's altar, they have your sister. Are they saving her for the last sacrifice? Without thinking, but w w w without thinking, I opened the I opened the lid of the laptop and looked at the video. And around me, he's not his face. If you make it before they summon the demon, you can save her. Either way, hurry. Got it. I'll do whatever it takes. I, I, I responded to the video. It may have been because I wanted to express gratitude to the person who, I, who had given me hope. My, I've known who you were ever since you hacked into Enigma. You were a kid. That whole story was in the novel. This right here. What? Sorry, I traced your IP and was able to learn your identity. I thought maybe we could make a game together. Proud of you for overcoming your past and being here. Listen, it's okay now. Free yourself. When I found out all of the saved data I took from the game was deleted, I saw there was a text file left behind. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, like oh, when she hacked into the file and, and found the text file, she read it, and like she she. Got all the backstory of what I just said from the novel of what Mitsunashi did. And she, you know, and she read all that. But a black, uh, an error occurred which caused her to f uh, forget all that. It said, when the time comes that you can access this file, I'll see you there. Free yourself. From there, I can no longer hear his voice. Message. It gave me a reason to live, you know? Thanks, Mr. Mizunashi. <laughs> Hi! He said Sanaye might be there! What a relief! Agreed. Roddy, Liliana, let's go! Let's end this! This time on the wall in front of us was a jet black door with a demonic and strange relief on it. Looking around once more through, through the strain area, I open the door, and we continue downward. Yo, this is it. This is it. The hemisphere's his face was, was shadowed, and I couldn't see it well. Iris, Iris returned too. I feel myself regaining my, my my fighting spirit ever so slightly. Chapter nine cleared. It was all story. Yo, yeah, this is a strain area. Brink of life and death, entrance. You too. I'm so glad. This place is... Let's go. Let's get moving. Oh, a safe point. I wonder if my mother would do the same for me. Hey, Mrs. Mitra loved you so much, Roddy. Mother, but that doesn't mean what what Hamish just did was right. Yes, I know. But it's not your fault. So you need to learn how how, how to live your life too, Roddy. My, everyone's dead because of me. I can't undo that. Like I said, none of that n none of that is your fault, Roddy. Live your life. 
Okay. But, the heck with Julia. Uh, 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 Julia, yeah. Yes, yeah, so when I heard that, when I, when I heard what she did, I could never forgive her. And Sanai. Yes, yeah, Sanai and the other dorm mates. I have forsaken them. I'll put an end to our plans. And we're, and we're reclaiming our lives. You're right. I'll be right behind you. Roddy, thank you. I'm counting on you. Yeah, let's do it. Everyone's dumped the future in our soldiers. Alright, okay, this is becoming tiring. But I made it this far. I can't give up now. Yeah. My, I'm fine. Are you? I'm with you until the end, my. Alright. That's good to know. My, I can never forget Julieta. You and Roddy suffered too much at our hand. And my mother. True. So, such grievances cannot be forgiven. Still, putting it into our plan will help. Indeed, you have my full you have my full support. Liliana, I'm I, I'm relying on you. She may not be a demon, but she deserves retribution. What you eating? What you eating? Liana's appetite is <laughs> insatiable. Why, yes, it is. Finding an empty stomach is a death wish. Are you hungry? Here you go. Th this is. Liana, get it. Uh, li li Liana, get it away from me. Oh, oops. That's Mr. Piggy. What are you eating? <laughs> Here, eat the. Never mind. I'm good. What are you eating, Liana? Do you think Juliet is the reason for why things have, have been so strange around town? Oh, it is t definitely because of her. Could be. Then defeating her is our best shot to escape, right? I think so. Our soul says Arata Mizunashi. This program code, th they entrust it to us. That can alter the world somehow, right? Well, we got it. We won't know until we try it out. Let's wing it. Okay. Our ace in the hole. When our business is done, I would love to visit your home, Mai. But you're coming with us. Like, <laughs> yeah, like, 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 adopting this kid. No one can stop me. I'll accept the mission. Let me turn into this quest. <laughs> I haven't really been focusing on doing the, the quest, but hey, they're there. I have good items. This is the first time you got to see me buy things in the shop. Alright, let's go. Oh, what are you doing over there? Oh, they're going this way. Yeah, I wonder if a lot of trial is going to start appearing now. Right, right way. Like here we go. Uh, treasure chest right over there. Well, where is it? I don't know, but I will find it when, or well, wherever it is, I'll find it. Oop, idol. Only the event was right there behind me. Hey, a treasure box. Ah, uh, yep, right here. I'll take this. Okay, a curse ball. 
Hey, this where's Adam Rana spawn? What's going on here? Hey, let's just go to the event. Roddy, you okay? Yeah, I remember everything now. So much pain. Even my mother committed. Th even if my mother committed these these crimes for my sake, I had to put an end to it. The image of sins m might not be might might not be forgivable, but the the real person that fought here is the person who, who used you who who used you for her cruel plans, Julieta. Juliana. On top of that. And on top of that, they're demon worshippers. We we must stop them. Le Liliana scowled, using her middle finger to push her glasses upwards. Ah, glasses pose. <laughs> you really are a clever girl. <laughs> it's encouraging, you know. By the way, Roddy. Uh, by the way, Roddy. How in the world did you end up there? Um, after we defeated my mother's shadow, uh, my my mother's shadow matter, my vision went dark. The, one, the ones that we defeated, Midra, uh, memories of the past, came flooding in, so I, so, so I probably passed out too. I heard my mother's voice in the darkness. She told me to return wh 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 where we belong. And it's all blank. When I came to, when I, take, when I came to, you were standing, you're standing in front of me. I was so happy and scared, I cried. I see. I understand now. For me, uh, for me, it's like it's like it's like I said. I passed out, and when I awoke, I was in my room. God gave me advice. He told me to hide for a while. <laughs> You're doing that a lot. <laughs> I see. I spoke to her. Was it Sheena? Or Mizunashi? When we passed through the door of the strain area, we saw a world that had been warped. The repulsive passed in the darkness. Only with Roddy and Liliana could, could I withstand the, the despair eating at me. It gets creepy out here. My, my let's hurry. I'm worried for Sai. Yeah. No, I didn't need the curse ball. I probably like, have, have like a couple still left over. This is such a weird place. I really don't like it. I mean, hey, it's the end of the uh, it's the end of the area dungeon. You know, no color and all that. Right, if you're here long, I feel like it, it'll, it'll suck the life out of you. This world isn't like this world. What's that, my? You two, brace yourselves. What's that thing right in front of us? Oh, it's locked. Oh, it's approaching me. Easy XP. No, go away. Oh, you're right in front of me. Uh, I think you'll make you know what? I'm risk. Oh, wait. Oh, where is it? Yeah. Ha ha! You can't reach me up here now, can you? Loser! <laughs> Life and death entrance memo. Is that the key I need? I think you'll make it, Roddy. Oh. Uh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah, like, oh wait, that's not how I it. I don't use that to open the door. <laughs> hey, a treasure yeah, let me my spare arm okay. Oh, it's spawned again. Oh, so okay. I know where I know where your spawn trigger point is now. But yeah, that's probably I probably have something to open up one of the other barriers I've seen. Oh, you know what? I'm uh like a serious. Oh, uh, I, I I just now. Yep. I'm I'm being like real dumb. No, go away. Like real dumb at the moment. I think you'll make it right. Where's that memo? A paper of a code written in from somewhere on the brink of life death entrance. Unlock code 61364. Yeah. Six four. The number match. Oh, item. She has glasses. An equip item. <laughs> Wonder how good it is. 
Thinking of a, I think I don't to equip, but I have not been equipping them. I mean, later down the line I do. Oh yeah, you know, this is your Civico RPG area. The black and white, all the life sucked out from it. I wonder how far this space goes to. I don't know either. Regardless, I know it's not much of a, of a place. I'm scared. Don't worry, Liliana. It'll be okay. That's a big room. It'll be okay, Liliana. Yeah, both Roddy and me. That's a big room. Thank you. I'll do my best. That's a big room. Oh, a safe point. Got all these enemies. Oh, well, not really all these enemies, but enemies that I can see too far. Oh, a safe point. Oh, but computer, how do I wait that, that, that button? Uh, there's a church that's right there. No, that's me. That church is right over there. I don't know if there's any other task or something. This camera is far away in the corner. Whew. Seems like it can be hacked. Oh, okay, I can go through that door. First of all, I mean, I didn't, I didn't really need it. Yeah, getting a lot of experience. Like, things are, things are dying. Oh, why are you still following me? First bar, I don't really need I mean or well, I'm but I did like run out once I've been saving. Oh I can't go there. Oh, enemies right in between. Uh hey man, how's it going? What's up? What's up man? How's it going? What's over there? Get your ankles broken. I mean, not really, but <laughs> close enough. Hello. Ah, oh, you're all gonna die. Alright, get rid of them all. Alright, how do I get up there? Roddy, do it. Yeah, I see it. How do I get up there? Do it. Oh, how, do, how do I get up there? Box? How do I get up there? Roddy, do right it. over here. No, I could I could just looked at the map. Huh. Hey, a treasure box. Life and death key A B. Roddy, do it. Can you just keep open this? Nope. Oh well. Are you gonna spawn again? Oh, he didn't spawn. Good. He knew what was up. He didn't want those ankles broken again. All right. Uh, let's get around. I think you'll make it, Roddy. Hey man, you okay? You just standing there. I could totally fire that thing, but I will not. Fights take a while. Like eight minutes. It was like the last one. Last time I, I fought one of those things. There's a PC here. Oh, seven one seven three four. Oh, the event's right there. I'm not firing you. 
Jump. Let's review the situation. We've been we've been experimenting with Lake Lara. <laughs> I'm just gonna say uh, uh, Lake Lara, <laughs> as it was three decades ago. The events with with, with Mija's murders have ha, have been on a cycle. All of us have been pulled into it without realizing it. That sums it up. All because Juliet is cursed. The things she was trying to summon a demon. The curse has, the curse has almost reached its re, reached its critical. We we must prevent the ritual. Yes yes yes. It, 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 it's nice here. Then she must be part of the ritual. Sinai, be safe. My my. Hmm. Wait oh wait wait wait. We're all so young. If I'm actually from thirty years ago, man, I'm actually the oldest here, right? Isn't that amazing? I already puffed out her chest triumphantly. I'm still older than you, in maturity at least. Ugh. The does that mean R R Roddy? Uh, Roddy is in her forties. Uh. N never mind. Forget I said anything. Technically, that would be the case. Something's coming. Oh, you're in that corner. I see you over there. I don't. I see you approaching me. Come closer, man. Come closer. All right, get your ankles broken. All right. Boots. Moving on, word. I should probably look at these. I'm picking up to see if I. Oh. Maybe I wait. I don't think I can equip them since those are like specific character items I'm picking up, really. So, is that for the avatars? Wonder how good they are. We sort of come pretty far. There's more? Yeah, and this seems a little, a little cramped. <laughs> Stop complaining. If you let your guard down, you, you'll be taken. That's right, Roddy. Mine's right. We have to stay strong. But I also understand Roddy's sentiment. That is far. Sorry, you guys, but it was just a little longer. A little longer. Yeah, yeah, that, 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 that's pretty far. Of course, it's for my. I'll do my best. I'll do my best. Me too. And me three. Oh, a save point. Let me save it up real quick. All right, let's go. Whatever, you wanna fight. Alright, yep. Quick, easy. Seems like it can be hacked. Yoink. You're staring at that wall. You you can go through that wall, my guy. Stop staring at it. Like staring at the wall like something's out about this wall. I see you over there. I see that ca uh, computer over there. I'm going for it! No, you were actually pretty close than I thought you were. Yo, you're actually pretty fast. Yo, this man walking, walking. Like, he's speed walking. Yo, that man was walking, walking. And not like, you know, walking, as in walking slow, but walking, walking. I wasn't going to go for that computer, but like, yo, he was walking. All right. You know what? I'm gonna try something. Spawn. All right, and then uh, enemy encounter. Don't have a ridiculous amount of HP, please. I was like, that's not worth it. That's not worth it. <laughs> I walked on those mines. I wasn't paying attention. All right, you stop following me, and uh. There's a PC here. Aha! It worked. Cheat the system. Items. Burn out spawn. Burn out spawn. Burn out spawn. A treasure box.
I got a new weapon. <laughs> let, me, let me equip that. Almost the same weapon. I just. No, that's a new weapon. Uh. I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, those are card specific items, which is why I can't equip them. But, yeah. Cheat the system. It'll actually work. Alright. Computer over there. Computer over there. Oh, then. Where are you going to spawn at, Shadow Matter? Yo, is that an enemy? Oh, that's an enemy. Oh. Oh, those, oh, that, um, that thing. I flashed back to the first game. It is showing me a door, and what's behind door number one? Seems like it can be hacked. That's where I am. Uh, There's the doorway. Oh, just show me that I can go through that doorway, okay. <gasps> Uh, okay, I don't see anything. Just walls I can go through. Yeah, I don't know where this is. Seems like it can be hacked. Something's here. Oh, new weapon for you. It's only by like 20, so I'm okay with it. Oh, that's the enemy standing right over there. Oh. oh. Let's go. That was back turn and everything, and I didn't even go for the green dude. I thought I was just gonna slip. Oh, wow. That's a lot of HP. That wasn't bad at all. That was not bad at all. A split pathway. The shaman is going to appear on the right side. Or not. Oh, wow. No free answer for me again. Alright. You know what? Can you go through these doors? Huh. A treasure box? You cannot. But soon I'm going to break that down anyway. So disappear already so I can you know, open the door. And he's still walking, walking. He still be walking, walking. I think you'll make it, Roddy. Liliana, take care of it. You see, that's probably a curse ball right over there. Something's coming. Oh, he spawned behind me. Found it. Ready, Can't let me kill these things. Ooh, hi there. I don't. Open. Oh. What's going on here? I should have a memo for that. Or not. Uh, yeah, I, 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 I don't have a solution for this. Yep, as I thought. Liliana, take care of it. So you saw you have the game, wanted me to backtrack. I mean, I was wondering what was all the all the doorways I could go to. So yeah, that, that was the solution, just how to backtrack. Hey, a treasure box. I see something. Found it. Curse ball. 
Oh yeah, I was wondering what treasure box was over here. I see something. Found it. I can't open that. If I don't have a curse ball open this, <laughs> I've been in danger. I think you'll make it, Roddy. Something's here. How do I get up there? That guy walking, walking again. Fight me. So I'm sorry, I can go away. <laughs> And F key one two X Y. I mean, yeah, that's open. Let me grab this curse ball real quick. I see something. Found it. Let me go up here and open this up. Hmm. What else can I open up? I don't think I'm just gonna have to backtrack some more. There we go. I'll backtrack a little bit more. Yeah, there's those two doors right over there, so. Oh, that enemy spawning kinda <laughs> scared me a little bit. Now that was funny. Uh, enemy tried to run right at me, and then like shot him out of spine. Like he majorly noped after that. make this jump? Can I make this jump? Run, do it. No, I suck. <laughs> I'm gonna try that again. Wait, that was here? Okay, so apparently I couldn't have made that jump. I think you'll make it, Roddy. So yeah, that was a note on me making that jump. I'm looking down there for treasures. There's a treasure right over there. Gosh darn it, game. You know I want to pick these up. Something's here. They know all too well. I want to pick up these treasure chests. Jump! If I put it on the bottom row where the enemies are, why <laughs> don't you put them up here? Yep, it's right here. Something's here. Oh, only a headband? Do it. Anything else over here? Hey, a treasure box. Yep, I got the memo. There we go. I I can I can open it now. Are you serious? 
the code is one. One, two, five, three, four. <laughs> I didn't even need to go all the way over here. If that was the code. Trial and error could have helped me. Trial and error, like, oh, let, 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 let's try one, two, three, four. Oh no, that didn't work? Okay, how about one, two, five, three, four? It would have worked. The shadow matter. Another one spawns, it's probably one right in front of me. <laughs> Ronnie, do it. it. It sure is. Hey buddy, how's it going? Are you walking, walking? Cause like, it seems like you guys are starting to walk, walk now. Like walking, like you gotta go somewhere. Like, oh, I'm I'm way for work. Walking, walking. Gotta love that they turned off the feature to teleport. Why are you guys running? Stop running from me! Fight me, cause I I, I don't want to deal with the shadow matter. Yo, stop running away from me! Oh, really? Wow, right in front of me. I'll go the other way around, cause I do not want to fight these things. Nani, you know what? Yeah. I'll wait right here. I'll wait right up here. I'll wait. I'll wait. I'll wait. I'll wait, man. I'll wait. You and your walking, walking. Seriously though, <laughs> this is supposed to code. <laughs> this was on purpose. This was on purpose. I think beyond this point is the dead. Uh, is the end. You two ready? Yes, I'm fine. I'm fine too. Let's save tonight. Also, let's save tonight. We're on our way.